Welcome back guys, so uh, in this video I'm going to show you my CRF 300L that I have now upgraded and uh, in particular I'm going to be talking about the mods that I've done just over the last couple of days and that includes a full Yoshimura system uh, changing out the bars foot pegs tail tidy levers, grips and a few other bits and bobs so stay tuned and uh, we'll go through and talk about what difference the uh, new exhaust makes and what difference uh, all the parts make and whether they're worth spending the money on or not so yeah I've put a, a Yoshimura full system on this hopefully you can hear that in the audio and um, the full system was only like a hundred dollars more than a slip-on so that's what I went for in the end and I've also put on a stage one 550 performance ECU tune along with uh, a new open air filter and I've also done the airbox lid mod uh, from 550 performance and I can tell you that the performance is definitely improved the fueling is better down low and um, it's got a little bit more torque so Yoshimura I think quote 15% uh, just for the exhaust so we're talking about that it's not a huge amount of difference Oop, duck the trees uh, it's not a huge amount of difference but it's definitely a little bit peppier uh, particularly in the mid-range and then up top as well uh, it seems to pull a little bit better now at first when I got this uh, exhaust and I first put it on I fired it up in my garage and I thought Jesus it's uh, it's too loud for my taste and um, yeah I mean obviously I'd got you know it was in the garage so it was echoing there is no uh, spark arrester in the exhaust or decibel killer or anything like that so it's just the exhaust and it is pretty loud but I gotta say, now I'm riding it, I'm getting used to it, and I really love the sound it makes. So I'll put the prices up on the screen, how much everything costs, how much I've spent so far. It's um, it's quite a bit. So what I decided with this bike is, is that I'm just gonna do this one up pretty much as best you can do with a CR300L, both in terms of uh, tuning and performance. I'm not going to the full extremes of getting uh, CBR300 cams or anything like that. But what I am doing is the full exhaust system, ECU, so it's an, uh, basically it's a, a new ECU unit that you send you with a, a different map on. Uh, so I've got the Stage 1 uh, 91 octane ECU map on here from 550 Performance. It's a really easy install, both the exhaust and, uh, and the ECU pretty straightforward to do it takes a little bit of time but it's straightforward there's nothing too complicated about it gets a few cracks and pops every now and again yeah it keeps pulling to the red line it does make a difference so on stock you just slow down for the wind noise on the stock bike I always felt like once it got to about eight eight and a half thousand revs there was nothing left and um, it definitely pulls a bit better near the top now it's not a huge difference though and you got to weigh up the price of the the system and the tune and everything but it definitely feels more responsive on the throttle and um, I mean just the sound alone means that I can uh, I can get a sense of where the engines at and where it's revving which means that you feel a little bit more comfortable um, I mean I rarely look at the gear indicator anyway but you can really ride it off the sound now so we'll talk about a couple of the other mods I've done 
So I haven't done any suspension mods to this yet. So I've put on an Acerbis skid plate. And I've just gone for the plastic uh, plastic skid plate because mainly I do trails. So I don't need too much impact protection. Yeah, it keeps pulling. I mean, I'm up to 115 easily there and there's more to go in fifth gear. And uh, the main thing I wanted to do, I was never comfortable on this bike in terms of the levers and the position of the handlebars. It was okay, but I knew I could make it better. So I swapped out to uh, swapped out the stock bars to some Pro Taper contour bars, and they got a slightly higher rise, uh, which makes it a little bit more comfortable for me. Uh, all the time, sitting down, everything, it's more comfortable. Uh, but also, particularly when I'm standing up, this is way more comfortable now. I also didn't like the stock levers, so I switched them out to Zeta. Uh, three finger levers. And, ah oh man, they make a big difference. So, they're shorty levers, Zetas, and um, they're so much nicer. They just feel better. They, um, they obviously will, will, will bend if you crash. And um, they just feel more comfortable. So when I, I, I generally use uh, two fingers on the clutch, and um, generally, the stock levers are so long that I really had to shift the controls and the levers in so that when I pull the lever it's um, not catching on my ring finger and my little finger and uh, this is way better, way way better I also put Pro Taper uh, pillow grips on which give a much nicer grip and more comfort than the stock grips And then just to aid with uh, stand-up riding, which I must admit I don't do that much, but I wanted wider pegs with better grip. So I've again put the Zeta grips on, uh, sorry, the, the Zeta foot pegs on. And I'll stop in a bit and I'll take you around the bike so that you can uh, see all these mods. So initial impressions on the, um, on the exhaust system. The fueling on it's good, on the ECU, so I'm noticing, um, let me just get going up here a minute. Check now what's going on here. definitely got more in it yeah it's got enough uh, grunt now it does make a difference you know it's got enough grunt now that it's kicking out the back end when I accelerate I'm still on stock tires by the way just pull in here a sec Take a look at that beautiful view. Look at that view. Never gets old that. So we got the uh, Pro Taper pillow grips, Zeta levers, 
Zeta, Zeta, don't know what you call them. And I've put the Pro Taper contour bar on with a tapered end, so all your normal controls fit and everything. And it makes a world of a difference to comfort. Down here we've got the uh, Zeta foot pegs, which are wider than the stock ones. And they've got these lovely points on for a, a good grip, so your feet feel really planted. I can't remember the name of the brand, I got it from crfsonly.com. Um, just a simple tail tidy, so we take out the real t rear tail fender and stuck on this little one. Uh, much more attractive, <laughs> just gives a nicer shape to the back end of the bike. Uh, and also, if you guys are going really hard and you're really compressing the suspension, there's much less chance of that cracking on the tyre. And then we have down here the Acerbis um, bash plate, or skid plate. And it's really nicely moulded and it's just two screws in here and two screws under at the back. Uh, so it's really easy to fit. It's really well uh, moulded around to the engine casing and everything. And like I say, for me, because I'm mainly doing uh, trails like you've just seen me, it's just to stop rocks kicking up and hitting the uh, engine casing. So anyway, I'm sure what you'd like me to do is just to start this up and give you a sound check. I know you've been listening to it coming back but um, I'll shut up now and I'll start it up and let you hear the uh, the Yoshimura RS4 full system exhaust with a 550 ECU tune <laughs> I'm sure you can tell that's quite a bit more beefy than the stock one. One thing that I'm going to check now actually, we'll go and do a bit of road riding, we'll get off these trails and ride around on the roads, I'm going to check about the 5k rattle because I hadn't even thought about that but I've just noticed or I've just just thought about it and I don't, I don't remember hearing the 5k rattle so let's get going. I'm just hovering around the 5k mark because I want to see if there's any sign of that 5k rattle. I'm really not picking it up at all and this bike did have the 5k rattle before. No, I, I think it's gone. So that's that cured. So let's just see how it pulls on the road so just come along with me for the ride and then when I get the opportunity to Rip it, I will. definitely got a little bit more and it pulls for longer. Let's watch the rest. Yeah, it's pulling way up to nine, nine and a half thousand now. So there's definitely a difference. Is it worth the cost? Mm. I think it depends on, um, depends on how you use the bike. certainly sounds a lot more fun.
it feels like a little ripper now. Before it always felt okay, but the sound of it was anemic, wasn't it? Now, I definitely feel like I can rip around on this more. Just watch out because there's dogs. It's definitely got more grunt. And it feels smoother, the throttle response feels better as well. Uh, it's instant. There's absolutely no lag on the throttle. I mean, you can rip around at this now. Um, no problems around the 100, 100 and something mark in terms of kilometers an hour. And with the bars in the position they're in, God, the handling has improved, I tell you. The handling's way better. I feel like I can just throw it around more. And it pulls out of corners better. instant torque as you're pulling out of corners and obviously it's you know it's not a world of difference it's not like suddenly you're on a duke 790 adventure powered type bike but it definitely makes a difference pulling out the corners and when you're riding a little bit quicker gears ripping well up over a hundred now we're getting up to a hundred and ten or so hundred and eleven in fourth that's definitely a little bit more than I was getting before One thing I'll have to look at, I mean I am ripping this around, but one thing I'll have to look at over the coming rides is, uh, is it going to affect fuel consumption? So this bike normally gets over 30 kilometers per litre, and it, once I start riding it normally, now the only thing is, I say riding it normally, but when the exhaust sounds like this, it makes you want to rip it a little bit more. Quite a bit of grunt in third gear as well now. Just gotta be careful up here because I think there's holes in the road everywhere. Yep. Oh, stand up over that. But yeah, so far I am absolutely loving this bike now. I mean, I like the stock version if I'm honest with you, but this one's starting to feel like my own and it feels super comfy um, the bars now feel great I feel like I'm in total control of the bike it rips along now with the exhaust which way shall I go home? shall I go home the shortcut or shall I go the route where I can thrash the bike a little bit more what do you want? left or right? choose now click a thumbs up if you want me to go right so I'll go a bit faster and you can hear the Yoshimura a bit more ok, enough of you click thumbs up I'll go this way. Once this dude gets out of my way. He's got plenty of power to nip past that, and he was trying to accelerate a bit then as well, the uh, pickup truck driver. got 
traffic. Just that sound alone sounds nice. Well over a hundred before we're getting into fifth gear. Kilometers an hour. Sounds nice on the downshifts as well. could rip this little bad boy now I don't think my fuel consumption is going to be good now. indicating right. Is he going to turn right? Maybe he's just letting me pass. Nice man. So, here in the Philippines, on these kind of roads, it's probably not a good idea for you to be riding much faster than I was then. So, my point being is that the CRF300L and Rally have got plenty of power to nip along the roads here. You're not going to be shortchanged on power here in the Philippines. A 
especially this one now that's uh, been tuned. Whew. It's good. <laughs> it's really, it's really, really nice. It is really nice now. My uh, my friend from Argyle, Vince, um, is getting hold of a CRF 300L stock one, and I think I don't know. What do you reckon, Vince? Should we do drag races just to see uh, which bike's faster? I think we should. Anyway, guys, that's just about it for this video. Uh, I will be doing an actual comparison of this bike versus the stock back to back, um, just so we can, or so I can really get a feel for it. And I figure it'll be useful as well for you guys um, to be able to see back to back comparison, uh, how they sound, how they feel, how they accelerate, um, speed, everything, um, and then some point I am heading back to the UK but after that um, I'll be doing quite a bit of stuff on the uh, on the rally and on the V-Strom 800 DE I'm just waiting for some parts for that V-Strom but I've just got my plate numbers for all the bikes so they're all good to go now so that's kind of been why I've been a little bit slow on the uploads is that they have this system here in the Philippines where you can buy a bike but it takes two or three months to get your plate number and until you get your plate number it's not road legal so if I get stopped at checkpoints and stuff I don't know what happens I'll probably get a fine or something so um, but all those plate numbers are all through now everything's all fully road legal all the bikes are ready to be rented out and also I'm gonna be doing a a bunch of rides and upgrades and stuff like that on the bike so like and subscribe do the other thing notifications bell and um, yeah I'll see you on the next video I'm gonna get back home now because it is about 400 degrees